up on Network Africa. From pitch to politics, former footballer star George Ware is sworn in as Liberia's president. The thousands of refugees seek refuge in Nigeria after violence broke out in English-speaking areas of Cameroon over the last year. Plus outcry in the Central African Republic following the dismissal of child abuse case against deployed UN French soldiers. Many thanks for joining us on Network Africa. I am BC at Debayo. We'll begin the program with a look at stories that made headlines over the weekend. Security forces shot dead at least five people and fired tear gas to disperse a banned protest against President Joseph Kabila, organized by the Catholic Church on Sunday. Kabila's refusal to step down at the end of his mandate in December 2016 has triggered a series of street protests in which scores have been killed in Kinshasa. It has also emboldened armed rebel groups in different parts of the country. Police and paramilitary troops fire volleys of tear gas and shoot into the air on Sunday outside the Notre Dame Cathedral in the capital, Kinshasa. Spokesman for the UN mission, Florence Marshall, says 33 people were wounded and that 49 arrests have been made across the country. As well as Kinshasa, protests erupted in the central Congolese diamond mining town of Mbuji Mai and the city of Goma. Elsewhere, one body was recovered, and dozens were rescued by Spanish coast guards at sea on Saturday night near Almeria, south of Spain. Two inflatable ferries carrying at least 70 people were spotted at Alboran Sea hours after departing for Morocco. One of the ferries sank, killing two of the passengers. A local fishing boat helped in the operation and rescued 32 people and recovered one of the dead bodies. The announcement, stating that El Sisi would stand again as a candidate for a four-year term in presidential elections scheduled for March, roused much favorable reaction, despite the fact that it has been highly anticipated. On Saturday, thousands rushed to notary offices to register their signatures of support for the president. The election authority says more than half a million citizens have supported 23 different candidates. The Egyptian president seems to be getting the vast majority of the signatures of support, while the leftist rights lawyer Khalid Ali may come in second place. The Egyptian election authority is opening its doors to accept candidate applications from January 20 to 29. Judge Ware is now Liberia's president after being sworn in into office in the presence of many dignitaries, celebrities and over 35,000 citizens. During his maiden speech, he made a rousing call to all Liberians, promising to do more in advance in the country. Mr. Ware also used his inaugural speech to praise Liberia's strong ties with countries like the U.S. and China, stressing their importance in helping the country to reach its full potential. This report gives us a look at the background of the former football star, President George Ware. 51-year-old Judge Weir grew up playing football in Clara Town Slum in the capital, Monrovia. He went on to play for a succession of top-flight European teams and was the first non-European to win the Ballon d'Or in 1995. King George, as Weir's supporters call him, is widely popular amongst the young and disenfranchised. I'm here because of George Weir. I love him so much. Yeah, not that he's poor, but we are poor people. That is why I'm here. I'm here because of my country. Yeah, not that he will do more for us. That is why I'm here. I'm so happy. I've been behind him since 2014. Weir's inauguration is the first democratic transfer of power in 73 years. He previously lost to Ellen Johnson Sirleaf in 2005's presidential election and has served in the Senate since 2014 for the Opposition Congress for Democratic Change. After gaining 39% in the first round of voting in October, Weir faced off against Joseph Boakai, Sirleaf's long-serving vice president. 
despite allegations of electoral fraud by another presidential candidate that threatened to cancel the second round of voting, Weir rode on a wave of youth support to capture more than 60% of the vote in a runoff election in late December. Expectations are high in Liberia for the new president as he pledges to tackle high levels of unemployment and corruption. I cannot summon the words to thank the people of Liberia who have made this historic day possible. What the people of Liberia have delivered for the country cannot even be described in words. So I will ask Liberian, yeah, and those to our uh, the country under the sounds of my voice to thank the Liberian people by clapping for one minute. Now that his long road to the presidency is over, an even more daunting task awaits, delivering tangible benefits to expectant supporters in the face of a gutted economy and waning donor support. And staying with Mr. Judd Ware's inauguration, President Jacob Zuma of South Africa boycotted the event. The president was represented by the country's Minister of Water and Sanitation, Namvula Mokonyani. In a statement released to local media, little explanation was given as to why Mr. Zuma did not attend the ceremony with other African leaders in Liberia's capital, Monrovia. Liberia and South Africa share strong economic and trade relations, further cemented during a state visit to South Africa by the outgoing president, Ellen Johnson Sirleaf, last year.